Thank you. Today we take a look at the thickness field feature of Spherene Rhino. In this example we have this envelope here with rounded edges, a density field with a volume percentage of 22, giving us this result. Without specifying any thickness field point, when you compute a project, the default wall thickness will be the value set in this density reference thickness field here. Now it is set to 0.4 millimeters. This creates a constant density field with a constant wall thickness. Let's change the wall thickness gradually from one side to the other side. I can do this from the top view by adding a field point for thickness on the left side I set the point here on the right side I also set the point by double clicking on this value I alter the wall thickness from 0.4 millimeters to 1.5 millimeters compute the gradient let's hide our previous result and wait for the computation to finish right we got the result back and we see that our wall thickness changes now gradually from 0.4 millimeters to 1.5 millimeters. Now I want to show you how you can specifically add detail where you want to have wall thickness changes. This procedure works with all field points the same. Let's use a spline and one thickness point. Using the array curve command, I can select this field point and the spline and distribute 20 points along this spline. Let's accept that, delete the base curve, select all the field points and group them by the command group, mirror the selection and let's assume that we want to change this group here to 1.5 millimeters. So select the group and enter 1.5 millimeters. Mirror this again. What we have is some kind of a tuning fork pattern where on the inside we try to achieve 0.4 millimeters wall thickness and on the outside it should make a gradient to 1.5 millimeters. Place this over our object. Let's get our base envelope visible again. And now imagine this works like a force field. The more of these points I place at a specific location, the more detailed it will behave. So I will make some copies here. Let's switch to the side view to have a better view how to position these objects. What we have now is kind of a force field for our thickness. Let's compute this to see the result. I call this fork. We can hide the field layer for better visibility. Here we go. On the inside, in the middle of the object, we have a wall thickness of 0.4 millimeters. Then gradually it changes to 1.5 millimeters all around making this interesting pattern. Let's blend in the field points again to compare maybe from top view to see what happens exactly. That's all there is for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.